All right, so this might be one of the hardest segments I've ever had to do here on The Morning Show because I have to help this out, but I'm not allowed to eat anything so until close. it's The Morning Show feast. So, so close, so close, so close. <laughs> Listen, we've got our friends with the bread and board here in the public's kitchen outside. This is Dwayne. He is chef, owner, extraordinaire, and now potato masher. I do everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, truly a man of many talents. So we are gonna tell you how to make the perfect mashed potatoes. First of all, thank you for leaving the skins on. That's a big thing for me. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a preference. I like, I tend to like rustic foods anyway. Um, and uh, regardless of potato you're doing, we're using a thin skin Yukon, so okay. it's, not, it's not a tough chew at all. But even with russets, if you roast them long enough, you know, it, it adds a nice texture to potatoes, I think. Sure, so you boiled these. These are boiled, yep. And then now we were just you're, you're using that hand mixer. Yeah, I mean, you, that's the that's the number one thing with a good mashed potato is you want to make sure that you're you're mashing by hand either with a potato masher. We use whisks, of course, and get your cream and your butter and gently go in there. You don't want to overwork it. Mm -hmm. Number one rule, of course, you know, never never use a a, a stand mixer or food processor because you're going to overwhip it. It's going to release that starch is gonna be super gummy and nobody likes that okay all right so I, I gotta say I could smell your cooking from the back parking lot this morning I know that you've been here since four o'clock this morning with your entire team who's right, over there right. behind the scenes oh <laughs> oh they're on TV they didn't know but they're on TV now um, tell me I mean <laughs> about putting this all together the secret ingredients I, I smell garlic yeah I, I think the number one number one um, aromatics that are used at Thanksgiving are thyme, fresh and dry thyme, sage we're using throughout the, the meal, um, both fresh sage leaves and dried rub sage, garlic, butter, copious amounts of butter, 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 everywhere, um, cinnamon sticks, we've got star anise, um, like all, all the, the comfort things. When you think of like the perfect holiday candle, that's what you're smelling out here right now. Yeah, yeah. And I know at the bread and board, you're always trying to be festive. Like you have your seasonal dishes, things yep. that taste better in the fall. Right. <laughs> right. I mean, nobody really wants cranberry in the summertime. N unless <laughs> some people cream, do. Maybe, yeah, some maybe. people do. <laughs> I take that back. No, but we're, um, especially right now, um, we, we had rotated to our fall turkey sandwich, which was this walnut cranberry bread, roasted turkeys, orange marmalade, turkey gravy for dunking. We're trying to take it to the next level in, in all the sandwiches that yeah. we do. I, I've sports. taken down quite a few of those. Right. Excellent, excellent. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we're moving through. Let me know if you need a hand there, literally. <laughs> we will be done with whipping the, or mashing these potatoes shortly. Um, and I think moving on to a, a couple more dishes in the next segments, but wrapping yeah. it up soon, hopefully everybody gets a chance to, to eat. And then after that, I mean, you can dress it up how you want with your, your spices, your herbs, maybe some salt, maybe some like Himalayan sea salt, um, my personal yeah, favorite, in, in if you potato, need to. In potatoes, we like to do roasted garlic a lot. Uh, there's a lot of add-ins. Some people like cheesy mashed potatoes, um, fresh chives. Um, we're gonna do a little bit of fresh parsley in it. Well. Have it your way. Thank you yes. for this. We've got much more coming up.